Meghan Markle is considering extending an olive branch to her estranged father after she gives birth to her first child next month, DailyMail.com can reveal. A source close to the Duchess of Sussex, 37, said that although the royal had been left miserable by months of embarrassing revelations, she hopes the birth will mark the start of a new chapter. Meghan has also told friends that she understands the pressure her U.S.-based family members are under and hopes they will use their position to make a difference rather than criticize her in future. The insider said, Meghan understands the pressures of intense media scrutiny and she is saddened by what her family have had to endure. She plans to extend an olive branch to the family and invite them to visit after the baby is born, her sister, Samantha Markle, included. Meghan hopes and prays that the baby will bring her family back together. The friend also told DailyMail.com that Meghan has been left baffled by her family's constant calls for her to spend more time with them, saying that she has always been short of time for reunions with relations due to her busy schedule. According to the source, her former life as an actress also kept her away for long periods of time but her family did not complain then and supported her instead. The source added. Meghan's family is well aware that she has always been busy and have always supported her efforts in the past, despite it leaving her little time to spend with them. Her royal duties have kept her incredibly busy and she takes her new responsibilities very seriously. Kensington Palace did not wish to comment on this story. The Duchess of Sussex has endured a turbulent year at the hands of her family, with half-siblings Samantha, 54, and Thomas Jr., 52 repeatedly criticizing her for cutting off their father. Samantha in particular has repeatedly called on Meghan to spend more time with their father, telling Daily Mail last month that she should have visited him while in the U.S. for her New York baby shower. She said, setting all personal things aside, I understand a baby shower is an exciting time, it's about getting with friends, getting things ready for the baby. But you are on this continent Meghan and I would just really love to see her have contact with my dad while she's here. Life is very short and you never know when you're going to get that opportunity again so it would seem par for the course and I hope it happens. Retired lighting director Thomas S.R., who lives in Rosarito, Mexico, has been estranged from his youngest child since missing the royal wedding last May amid a staged photo scandal. He later said he was forced to miss the nuptials after suffering a series of heart attacks before going on to give a series of interviews, including one in which he revealed Prince Harry's views on Brexit and President Trump. Last month, he released excerpts from a private letter written by Meghan and mailed to him last August in response to a People article that claimed the Duchess was being victimized by her family. In the letter, Meghan said her heart had been broken into a million pieces by his continued media forays and accused her father of lying about being cut out of her life. She also criticized him for attacking her husband to newspapers. In his reply, which was also made public, Thomas S.R. denied attacking Harry and later described Meghan's letter as hateful and a subsequent missive to her mother Doria Ragland. Doria, 62 is the only member of the 37-year-old's family not to speak to the media and was the only one to attend the Windsor wedding last May. But even she was left off the guest list for the Duchess' recent baby shower in New York which took place in the $75,000 a night penthouse of the Five Star Mark Hotel. Instead, Meghan was joined for the event by a pantheon of celebrity friends, among them Serena Williams and Amal Clooney. Williams is understood to have picked up the tab for the penthouse where guests tucked into pink iced cookies and took part in a flower arranging course. The $250,000 private jet flight to and from London, the former accompanied by piles of expensive gifts, was taken care of by human rights lawyer Clooney. Meghan's star-studded guest list led to another round of criticism from sister Samantha who told Daily Mail that the family cannot be replaced by a parade of celebrities. Samantha said, she's a woman, she's got her own thing going on and we wish her well but family is family and you don't replace your whole family with a parade of celebrities. She can't replace me with George Clooney or Serena Williams, I'm her sister. I hope we might get to bridge that gap and if not, she might regret it. All I can say is I try. With a baby coming, it might be time to look at things and try it again. The Duchess, 
who flew to Casablanca, Morocco for a three-day tour with husband Prince Harry shortly after returning from New York, has had a busy few weeks. On Tuesday afternoon, she took part in a reception held by the Queen to mark the 50th anniversary of Prince Charles' investiture as Prince of Wales. She was joined by her 34-year-old husband and the Duchess of Cambridge for the event with the two women, who had been reported to have clashed, spotted laughing together, 